Hey. <laughs> it just, yeah, I just have a lot of it. Okay. What? I said okay. I'm gonna close this for now. So we don't hear him doing a bunch of ruckus. Oh, no, guys, I didn't blow my hair out myself. I went to a salon and a uh, very professional hairdresser did my hair today. So that's why it looks extra great. Uh, but I am on a journey to figure out how to do it my own because I need to. It's about time. I have so much hair and it's just a lot of it. And I feel like I need to figure it out. My top, this is from ASOS. It's just like a little, a little slinky spaghetti strap top. Um, do I ever want to dye my hair blonde? No. Mm -mm. I don't know. I have done the a lot of blonde highlight situation once. And I think at the time I liked it. Ooh, thank you for the cowboy hat. Um, I hated it. Hated me blonde. It just was not the right vibe for me. Um, I didn't like it. I definitely suit brunette. Maybe one day I will, I also went red at one, at one point in my life. I was like, 15 my mom was pissed because I went and did it and she didn't think that the people at the salon were actually gonna like bleach my hair and dye it red and she was pissed this was a long time ago um but yeah uh what am I going to be for Halloween I actually don't like Halloween I don't know what I would be um so yeah, I don't know. I didn't celebrate last year. I don't know. I just, oh, well, actually, uh, I, like four Halloweens ago, I ordered a uh, cheerleader Halloween costume, the Mad Euphoria cheerleader Halloween costume. I ordered this costume about four years ago and I didn't end up using it or no, it showed up too late. I ordered it like a month before and it still never came. So I got it like two months after Halloween and I was like, all right, you know what? I'll just keep it for the following year. And I keep forgetting I have it. And I saw it earlier, like a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago in my closet. And I'm like, if I need to wear something, that's what I'm gonna be. So I will be Maddie from Euphoria, even though that was done so long ago she was just everyone was maddie years ago but it's fine i i'm gonna bring maddie back because she's iconic um also can't wait for euphoria season three to come out but i know it's not coming out probably until like 2026 at this point so yeah but yeah i don't like halloween i didn't celebrate it last year i don't really care to i think i will like halloween once i um uh, have a kid or a home where i can give out candy or i can go with my kid and they'll collect candy it just i like that vibe or something festive i don't want to go to a freaking party because oh god they just are so horrible you just sit there and look at each other and then i always get sucked into it somehow or like they're so hard to get into for some reason like you go you go to like a house party and there's like 400 people sitting outside of it trying to get in and then you gotta shove through all of them and you're like Who the fuck is here that so many people want to go and i'm like, well, I guess i'm here But I didn't care that much like for me. I'll show up and if I can't get in i'm like Darn and I get right back in the car and go home Um Do you feel do you feel like you outgrew parties? I feel like that I outgrew certain types of parties I love, okay, no, don't get me wrong. I love to party. Um, I love going to parties. I love, uh, you know, hanging out with my friends and having a good time. I love having drinks with my friends, whatever. But I I think I, I 
I don't know. I think it depends on the type of party who I'm with. Um, I think I just outgrew like the random like, yo, someone's just throwing down tonight. Like, let's go. And it's like already midnight, one in the morning. And then you go and you're not home till five in the morning. I went through, guys, I went through a phase when I moved out here. I like being so dead ass with you. I went through a phase where I, <laughs> I was going out till five in the morning. That is illegal. I couldn't even imagine doing that right now. Like I was going out so late and I was like, sometimes I wasn't even drinking. I just went out till five in the fucking morning for no reason. Why? I don't know. I don't know. But that's what everyone out here does. Well, did. Everyone in LA, like that's like, that was the move. Like when I was fucking 19 years old, 20 years old, like we would just go out till five in the morning. Doing what? I don't know. Literally, sometimes we just sit in the fucking living room looking at each other doing nothing. Um, so anyways, yeah. And I think I just like was like, this is not fun. I did all of that and I don't like doing it. Um, have you seen Tell Me Lies? No, but I've heard great things about it. I need to start that. I need to start that right now. Currently, I'm watching Love is Blind season seven US. Um, and I'm on, I haven't start or I started episode five, I think. Let me tell you, gnarly. Or I started episode six. I don't know what one I'm on, but it's so gnarly. Holy shit. Who am I rooting for? I don't know. I don't know yet. I feel like I need to see them. I got to the point of the show where they finally, they all arrived to mexico for vacation so like that's where i'm at right now so i need to see them all together in real life and then i can make my decision um yeah i don't i'm talking to uh i'm talking to i'm talking about love is blind season seven um what did you do that helped your acne i try emphasis on try i try to use acne safe makeup products which i feel like have helped me a lot sometimes i deviate away from that because there are products that i just fucking love and they don't they don't make my skin react that much so i kind of could get away with it but some products i've noticed can cause more bumps on my face and it's no fun love the natural makeup thank you yeah, I didn't want to do too, anything too crazy. Guys, wait, hold on. I have a tip and trick for you for mascara. If you want your eyelashes to look kind of like, I don't know, like longer, or if you want like, I feel like a like kind of like a pulley looking look on your eyes, when you put your mascara on, only apply it to the outer parts. Don't do it in here. Sometimes I do it because I forget, but try and do only out here and i feel like it keeps such like a i don't know i feel like it pulls your face so don't do it in here just do like on the outskirts and you should be good you should be good to go um what time is it? i feel like i have to go very very soon do I have baby fever? Guys, I always have baby fever. I have wanted a baby since I was 18 years old. <laughs> um, I am, I don't know, I'm just, in, hopefully one day will be a mother, so I'm excited about that. You look amazing at 40. How did you maintain your skin so well? You for real think I'm 40? I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or a fucking diss, dude. What? Um, I fucking hope I look like this at 40. Holy shit. I, okay, well, first, I don't think I'm that old. Like, I don't think I look that old at all. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I'm 27. And I don't know if I look my age. I don't know if I look too old for my age. I don't know if I look younger than 27. I feel like I look pretty much my age. Um, <laughs> did you dirty? 
You don't, you look 22. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take 22. I feel like I could, like if I was like, oh, I'm 25, someone wouldn't even question it, you know? Like, I think I do look younger for my age, but also I send to people look at me sometimes like, you look like you're 35. And I'm like, well, fuck, you know? Um, You look around 23, 24. Guys, I'll take it. Everyone's saying 23 to 25. Because I know that when I get older, it's going to hit me. It's going to hit me. I know one day I'm going to... One age is going to just turn it all. You're going to just see the age in my face. I'm going to be like, I hope not. I hope those like Latino, Latina jeans pop in and really help. Because my mom, I think has great skin for her age. Like her skin is fucking phenomenal. She just has such great, like shiny, healthy looking skin. All my family does actually like all my tias um do so i'm hoping that latina skin stays in me and it you know lasts a long time um all right everyone's asking about this lip combo i'm gonna say it one more time because i just people pop in and i feel bad um i'm using the Maybelline Lifter Liner in 05 on it. It's this pretty like nudie mauvey brown. It's so gorgeous. And then I'm using the Lancome Eat All Butter Glow. Uh, it's like a butter gloss glow in the shade 64. It, do it doesn't have the name on it. Um, it kind of like wore off because I scratched it off by accident, but it's like a brown or red color and it's so pretty. So perfect for fall. Me using this every day. You know how too fast. Wait, how's the dance go? Right? Is that how the dance goes? <laughs> Guys, I've never even learned it. This is just from me watching it. From how many times I've watched it, I think I got it. <laughs> commit to the dance. I can't commit because then if I if I'm trying to be serious, then that's what makes it bleh, like cringy because I'm not a dancer. And then I just have so, uh, yeah, I just can't. Um, old sis energy. I love it. I love it. I am so glad I gave that energy. I wish I, I wish I was an older sister, which is kind of weird. I feel like for the longest time, I always wanted to be a little sister. I always wanted siblings. I'm an only child. And, um, I think as the older, the older I've gotten, I wish I had like a little sister or like a little brother. I just wish I had an older or I wish I had younger siblings. I don't know why. Maybe because I like caring for people, but yeah. Range Rover soccer mom energy. I'll also take that. I will also, I've been, I have been told that so much, not the Range Rover thing, but the soccer mom energy. I've been told that so many times. People are like, Fran, you are giving soccer mom. I can, they're like, we can see you. I'm, I'm, I'm giving soccer mom. They're always like, you, you are giving sideline screaming crazy mom, which I can also see. But I'm, I feel like I'm also giving a boy mom energy. I don't know what it is. For the long, when I was younger, let me tell you, when I was younger, I was like, I'm gonna have a girl. I wanna have a girl, I wanna have a baby girl. But it, like, I was so like set on it. And I know regardless of whatever gender I have, I'm gonna be so incredibly happy. It's not even like which one I wanted. It was like the feeling of what I was gonna get. When I was the younger, I always was like, I'm gonna have a baby girl. I know I'm gonna have a baby girl. The last like three, four years, 
I have felt like I'm going to have boys. Like that is what it feels like. I feel like if I have multiple, I will have more boys than girls or all boys. I just feel like I give boy mom energy. No, I'm not having a baby. <laughs> I remember you having, no, I'm not having a baby. I'm just talking about the energy I'm giving for the type of mom. Um, yeah, twin boys would be gnarly. And I have been told that before too, which is crazy. When are you gonna try? I'm gonna try probably in a couple years once I'm married. <laughs> not anytime soon. I'm not trying for a baby anytime soon. Mm. My worry is I'm gonna have boys and they're gonna bully me but i feel like i'm prepared that's like my one thing i was like i give boy mom energy but they will probably bully me but i feel like i'll bully them back like i'm not gonna let them like walk all over me i'm just gonna like put my foot down and they'll be like okay mom sorry i'm like don't fuck with me dude <laughs> watch you have all girls i know i'm like saying i'm gonna have boys 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 i'm gonna have a girl but i want like i i want both i if i could have both i want both but who knows good cop bad cop i know well that's what i'm saying someone said that to me they were like you lived with four boys you you kind of know how to handle them i've been around a lot of male energy a lot of my life so um i just feel like i'll be able to handle it and kick ass if i have to kick some ass oh thanks for that all right guys i think i'm gonna head out i think i have to go in like five minutes and i'm just i can't see what time it is because um i'm on live um but yeah yeah? Yeah? Yeah, one sec. I'm about to get off. Um, Alright, guys. Well, oh, 5.36. Yeah, I gotta go. Alright, I love you guys. I'm happy I did this. And um, I guess I'll see you guys maybe in a couple days. Alright, bye. 